Hi again, I'm Dylan Black. It's Daytime Ottawa Rogers TV. Always a pleasure to have you here. You know, when she got ill a bunch of years back, she had to leave her job, her teaching job, because she was too sick to work. And then her friends and family said, what can we do to help? And she said, send me socks. That's what she said to help her out. Let's find out more right now as we say hello to Jessica Baird, who's the founder of The Sock Project. Very cool to have you here, Jessica. Thanks for having me. How are you? How are, how are you feeling? I'm doing well. I'm doing well. I have good days and bad days living with, with the autoimmune condition that I live with every day, ankylosing spondylitis, uh, okay. which affects your SI joints and your spine and all of your peripheral joints. Mm, so how did you know that you were getting this illness? Um, I think the, the early symptoms started three years ago with fatigue, joint pain, um, back pain, um, swollen lymph nodes, uh, a big run around with doctors mm -hmm. uh, with not sure what, what exactly it was that I had, but uh, about two years after all of these symptoms started, I received the diagnosis of autoimmune disease. Okay. You wanted socks. <laughs> So I'm just, I'm just curious. I mean, it's a great, it's obviously what you're doing is amazing. We'll talk about that. But why did you want socks? Why did you want your friends to give you socks? It actually came from an idea of my girlfriend who has an autoimmune disease as well called lupus. Um, it's one of the most common um, autoimmune diseases uh, alongside uh, MS or multiple sclerosis. And she had said to me, go to the store and get yourself one pair of fun, silly socks and wear them to all your medical appointments. And my teacher brain kicked in and I thought, why don't I ask everybody, all my friends and family, to send me fun, silly socks. Mm -hmm. And I said, how about 365 pairs of fun socks and, and I'll wear a different pair. How many uh, in the last three years, about three, 4,000. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Look at some of these socks as well. I mean, all, so all kinds of different socks. It doesn't matter as long as they cover your feet. That's right. Yeah. That's okay. right. So what, where did the socks go? I mean, what is the sock project? So the sock project started when I received so many pairs of socks that I didn't know what I was going to do with all of them. And I started reaching out to people on social media mm -hmm. um, that were involved in groups of people who were dealing with various illnesses. And I thought, why don't I reach out to people and say, I've got so many fun socks. I'd like to send you a pair of fun socks to brighten your day to get you through because mm -hmm. that's what got me through. Hmm. And so that then turned into me going to events and giving out socks to people to brighten their days. Really? Okay. And uh, we're seeing some photos of some people wearing some fancy socks and here you are laughing, smiling, the sock That's project. at the Tornado Victim Concert. I gave out several socks to people who uh, lost their homes in the tr uh, tornado in Ottawa. Mm -hmm. That's at a TED Talk uh, in Oshawa. Mm. giving out socks to people. Okay, so, so you literally do go like across different, it's not, you're not just <laughs> servicing Ottawa here. That's it's right, socks. that's right. Okay. I, I, travel, I travel primarily in Canada and, and in, across the province, but I, I do have some, uh, a cool adventure coming up quite soon this okay. summer. Okay, yeah, because you're gonna be part of a, like your, like your a roadie, like basically, or what? what? What would you call this? You're going with a band, aren't you? Yes, I'm going with the Imagine Dragons. <laughs> okay. Dan Reynolds and Mac Reynolds, who sing, are the singers in the um, Imagine Dragon band. Yeah. Um, they have the chronic autoimmune disease that I have, ankylosing spondylitis. Yes. Interesting. And um, they have offered me to come with them to have a setup at their Love nice. Loud festival and giving out socks to people to brighten their days. Be careful, though, musicians. They may put you to work. They might have to set up their equipment. <laughs> Just got to be careful, okay? <laughs> but that's pretty exciting. And, and I know that uh, you're even, uh, there's talks that you're going to be on with Ellen. Yes, yes. Wow. My, one of my girlfriends wrote into the show, and uh, the Ellen DeGeneres show sees this as a kindness project, which it actually is, because um, sending socks out to people to brighten their days is, is the way that uh, I, I spread my love and my kindness, and I believe in living my life in love and in kindness. Mm -hmm. So that's why the Ellen DeGeneres show has gotten involved. So we'll wow. keep you updated on that. How cool is that? <laughs> and I know you're still teaching this, so, so you do still do some teaching. Yes, yeah. yes. I'm teaching um, a course called The Socks um, in the based Faculty of Based on the book? Age. Yes, based on the book written by my girlfriend, Kelly Ann Charlson. And sorry, where do you teach that? Um, at the Faculty of Education um, okay. at the University of Ottawa. And so we read the book and we talk about chronic illnesses and people have a chance to decorate their own uh, white socks with fabric markers mm -hmm. and share their story. 
Because mm -hmm. a part of this is also sharing our story and living in community so that we're holding each other up. We're pillars of one another. Mm -hmm. It helps in the healing process, I can Absolutely. Imagine. So using the socks in that analogy is we're walking a mile in each other's uh, footsteps. Wow. Okay. Um, you brought a selection of socks with you as well, so, yes. and we're having a look at them right now. <laughs> what, what's your favorite type of sock to wear yourself? Um, I think uh, I think um, my favorite socks would be the socks that I'm currently wearing. Well, we can't see those. <laughs> You've got boots on too. They're yeah. my uh, they're my teacher socks actually, yeah. um, and I'm wearing these socks today to hold up all teachers in our in our province because as we know it's been a difficult time for teachers. Mm -hmm. So um, that is why I appreciate those socks. Okay, very nice, nicely said. Okay, so. Um, people are continuously donating? I mean, how do they get yes. the socks to you? Yes, so uh, people can uh, meet me anywhere um, in the city and give me socks, at which I will send out to people, or you can actually mail them to me. And to mail them to me, you can reach out to me on email, and I will provide that e uh, mailing address. And my email is teacherjessicalin at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. And of course, found through the website, which is on the screen right now as well. I know that uh, companies have sent you socks yes. uh, as well. Uh, and just, how do, how do you feel when you get these socks? I can imagine the people that receive the socks must feel great, but it's got to feel good to know that you're making a difference. It feels remarkable. Mm -hmm. I, um, I, this is a project that I never would have ever thought is going in the direction that it is going. Um, and I'm very pleased with, with uh, the work that I've mm -hmm. been doing with this project. About 30 seconds left. And you're working on a line of socks as well? Yes, it's with be... McGregor Socks and okay. a few other sock companies. And the money will go into autoimmune research. Yeah, okay. Are, are you a fan of sock puppets? Yes, yes, I am. I actually um, hung out with Ed the Sock for a little while Did one you? day. Yes. <laughs> was he polite? Because he has a bit of a potty mouth. Okay, so he was mostly polite. Mostly polite. That's great. Uh, people should connect with you. Jessica Baird, the Sock Project. Incredible. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dylan. Great, great work in our community. More daytime coming up right here on Rogers TV. I'm Dylan Black.